Hello guys and welcome to episode 2 of my Minecraft Redstone tutorial series for Minecraft 1.8 so let's jump straight into it if you haven't seen my last video I covered all of these blocks across here and we did a little bit of explosive testing around here I also showed you the real real basics of Redstone so in episode 2 I'm going to be taking you over some of the devices we can power Redstone with uh, maybe a few more and actually yeah I'm going to show you a few more ways of generating your redstone current uh, to activate these wires here so let's start over here now we've got the minecraft doors here we've got two different types uh, three of you if you're counting the trap door but over here we've got a basic wooden one so uh, right clicking on this will actually allow us to open the door so I can right clicking here and I'm actually using a hand animation to open the door uh, and also coming around here and powering this with a regular redstone signal is actually going to open the door for me. Now if I was to replace this with a button like this, we can actually open the door for a short period of time. So say we wanted to click a button and then quickly walk through, it would let us do that. And then the door would close behind us, we wouldn't have to turn around and shut the door or whatever. Over here we've got the iron door. This is a sort of carry-on version of the wooden one. Uh, right clicking on this doesn't actually allow us to open it this is uh, slightly more blast resistant to the wooden door and will um, will be quite more quite a bit more secure so uh, if especially in, if you're in a multiplayer server I recommend using one of these people won't be able to get into your house that way but as always you can actually power this with the redstone signal and the door will open we can also use a button to make a short pulse that will open the door too now we, over here we've got the trap door. This can is this is a uh, this is another wooden one like over here. We can actually right click on this and open it. So under here we could actually make I don't know like a mine shaft down to our mine maybe if you're in a survival. And you know we can just you know walk in, go down. You can attach ladders to these bits and you can also attach it to the top of blocks. So let's get another oh let's get another trap door like this and we're actually going to place it on the top of blocks now so that makes it make a lot more neater the only downside to this is you can't place ladders on this block here now so there we go this can also be powered by redstone so we can lever this and now we're generating a redstone signal which is making that door flap about cool okay so over here we've got a fence gate this is good if, if you want to sort of uh, maybe for like a mob farm if you're planning on breeding animals you could you know attach some water and have them run down here redstone will open these gates allow them to pass through if the gates close you'll see that I can't actually get through and that I can't jump over this either this is because this gate counts as a 1.5 block and the player can only jump I think it's like 1.2 so there we go um, yeah this can be powered by redstone and as always it can be powered by a button just like this one here bloop bloop that's not going to work. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's because I deleted the redstone there. That's why. I was wondering why that wasn't going to work. So, as you can see, the gate is actually opening. And, of course, this can be attached to regular fences over here, look. And it makes a nice little connection block here. Okay, so now we've actually got things called pistons. These are going to be really useful for people who want to be making adventure maps, Hunger Games maps, and anything really that involves sort of advanced redstone maybe if you're making a, a nice cool door that opens up on the click of a button or something so let's go ahead and grab some blocks here let's grab 64 oak wood planks and I'm gonna go ahead and plonk them on the upper faces of these pistons like this okay I'm also going to duplicate two of these so as you can see that when I flick this lever this piston is actually gonna push its its uh, top face up now this means that the block above it is also gonna be pushed up and if I was to stack multiple ones like this they would all actually be pus pushed up because this one's being pushed to there this one's being pushed to there this one's being pushed to there so it's sort of like a chain reaction as you can see there look now when we take the power away from this piston whether it's with a button or not you'll see that it doesn't actually retract the blocks this is because it's not a sticky piston which I'm about to get into so this is useful if you want to cut redstone currents or you know you only want the uh, the thing the piston to do something once if you want to be it, be it like a sequence or you know something like that so if we wanted a sequence we'd actually come to the sticky pistons because that allows them to reset themselves without us having to manually come over and move a block down like this so we'd, every time we'd have to come and reset and this is quite irritating 
So the sticky piston over here, you'll see that when I activate this, it's, it works the exact same as a regular piston. But when I take the power away, it actually retracts the block back down. And you can see there will, on most texture packs, be a difference between the two. So you can actually see that there's actually a little bit of slime on here that's actually sort of sticking the block to it and pulling it down whenever you want to. So this resets itself and we can keep spamming this and nothing's going to change like this cool okay so I should note you should note also that um, these can actually be placed in any direction so you can place them along the floor in the sky you know anywhere really like this look, let's make one there we go so we can actually place them anywhere really and that's really good for making doors and stuff or you know maybe mob traps or anything so um, on to some dispensers then we've actually got a, uh, a dispenser here and we can face these any direction so if you right click on the dispenser we'll actually see an interface here this allows us to put things in and if al always you can stack up to 64 so let's just take all of these out and we'll stick 31 dirt in there and when I flick this lever look we're actually going to see a little block of dirt fly out there's only one in here so it doesn't shoot out stacks uh, <laughs> so there we go and if I deactivated this it wouldn't shoot another one every time it gets a pulse of redstone it's going to shoot that block there we go so if I kept spamming this you'll see that blocks keep flying out all over the place uh, we can actually put buckets of lava in here and fireworks and things into these to make them a bit more exciting and if I was to go ahead and put 39 dirt in here and then click this look it would actually fire out the top we can put a flint and steel here to to uh, light TNT as well so uh, one thing I will show you is that we can put, I don't know, what should we put in there, let's get a, uh, I don't think we can actually make fireworks, but I will show you that if you grab some, I don't know, let's grab some, uh, let's grab an iron helmet and an iron thing here, if we lob these into here and then we get a lever, are we going to be able to activate this from here, probably not, let's grab a lever and we're going to stick that on here, so w when we flick this it's going to shoot out a piece of armor and if I go ahead and check myself out in F5 we're going to see the armor's actually been equipped to us on default so it actually shoots out the armor and equips it to us without us even having to you know bother out going into our inventory and putting that on so it'll do that with anything any types of armor uh, so there you go guys uh, let's look at another way of generating our redstone current along these redstone lines then so this is called the tripwire. Uh, as you can see, when I step into this, these two pistons are going to activate, which means that they've got a redstone signal. Now these things work by two things. First of all, you're going to need uh, two uh, tripwire hooks, like this look. And we're also going to need a little bit of string. So if I go ahead and delete these here, just like a regular tripwire we're going to stick our tripwire hooks on the end of these two blocks here and then in the middle of these two we're going to put a, a piece of string so this is this acts like the uh, tripwire itself when we stand or go through this it'll actually activate a redstone signal and then once we're out the redstone signal will fade away now if i was to place another one over here and then hook one up here hook one up here we'll just delete this for now uh, we'd have to fill in every single block with string but the outcome would be the same so if I was to get a piston say here and lob it there we'll actually see that this will actually still generate a redstone signal like this cool okay so on to the last thing then we've actually got two new types of pistons these are the gold pistons and the iron pistons uh, sorry not pistons pressure plates now these things work on a heavy heaviness sort of block indexy thing. So if I was to grab myself, I don't know, a bunch of things, let's just get some ore, and I lobbed, I don't know, one on there. We'd see that one, it sent out a current size one of a redstone uh, wire. If I was to chuck a few more on, like this, we'll actually see that it would boost up to two, and this redstone would be powered okay cool so this actually works if I can stand on this it's not going to generate this but if I chucked a few things down on here with me it would look so it's sort of a heaviness thing okay and the iron one here this is a if I believe I am correct 
this is the heavy one and the gold one is the lighted one which means this one you're going to need to chuck more blocks on to generate a higher redstone signal like this look so I need almost am I going to need more than that bam 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 if I go ahead and lob things on like that so yeah you guys you can see that this requires a lot of things to work so it is actually really heavy and this one only requires I don't know a stack maybe two stacks to generate it yeah it looks like uh, each stack will give us one redstone thing but if you wanted to just you know generate uh, you just wanted a few items on here uh, we could always grab a repeater and stick it next to the pressure plates oh wrong way around we stick it next to the pressure plates and then we can boost the signal these will also work if you put redstone underneath just like the regular pressure plates I don't think I showed that last episode but there we go so if I was to put that down you can see that lobbing something on this would actually generate this to generate a redstone signal there we go let you saw that light it up there cool okay so that's about it for my second episode guys this was you know a few more devices we can use redstone for along with you know a few more ways of generating our current uh, and to be a bit a bit more precise with how many sort of redstone current tiles we can generate so I hope you enjoyed this guys hope you know you're starting to get a bit more confident using redstone starting to power a few basic basic setups and there we go so please like subscribe any feedback is welcome see you next time